The TIG brush is available in three models. The TBEX440 is the general purpose model ideal for light fabrication. The TBEX550 is designed for medium to heavy fabrication. Fast on light TIG, but equally adaptable to heavier TIG and MIG. The TBEX700 is the workhorse suited to heavy fabrication. The world's fastest and most powerful weld cleaning system for TIG, MIG and arc welds. The TBE, TBX440 and 550 are available as standard or propel kits. The TBE, TBX700 is available as a complete kit, including the propel torch and marking kit. To operate the TIG brush, firstly connect the power cable to the machine and plug it into your mains power socket. Insert the black earth cable into the black earth socket and turn the fitting clockwise to lock. If using the propel torch, insert the cable into the red socket and turn the fitting clockwise to lock. Wind propel torch handle clockwise until it stops. This is the only position that a brush can be inserted or removed. Insert brush into the end of the collet with the PTFE shroud in place, making sure that the brush is fully seated in the collet. When the brush is fully seated, wind handle anti-clockwise half a turn to ensure that the brush collet has grabbed the brush correctly. Pull gently on the brush to confirm it's secure. Turn handle to adjust brush to optimum length to start. You are now ready to use the TIG brush. If using the standard wand assembly setup, insert the handle cable into the red socket and turn the fitting clockwise to lock. Screw the wand assembly clockwise into the black handle until tightened firmly. Place the brush into the white PTFE shroud and screw this combination clockwise into the wand assembly, making sure it is tightened firmly. You are now ready to use the TIG brush. To avoid damage to your TIG brush and your work, ensure the insulating shroud is fitted to the brush on the standard wand assembly and the propel torch shroud is fitted to the propel torch. To turn on the unit, press the power button at the rear of the machine. It will light up red to indicate it is on. When the TIG brush power dial is positioned on the sleep setting, the machine is on, but there is no power to the brush until switched to the single brush or Propel wide brush setting. The controls consist of the power settings and the mode settings. The power settings are sleep, single brush and Propel wide brush. The mode settings are turbo clean, polish etch and mark. The TIG brush will passivate on both the turbo clean and polish setting. The single brush setting is used when only one brush is fitted to the wand assembly. The propel torch can be used on the single brush mode, however, when working on thinner material using the 550 or 700, the propel may be too powerful. In this instance, use only the propel wide mode. The wide brush setting is used when the propel torch is connected to the unit or the dual and quad brush shroud and adapter is used with the standard wand assembly. Once the power dial is switched from the sleep mode, the machine has power to the brush. The turbo clean mode can be used with either the single brush or propel wide brush setting to remove the heat affected zone and passivate stainless steel. This mode will not affect the machined finish to the stainless steel. Using the Ensatec weld cleaning fluid provided, pour the fluid into a small container. Connect the earth clamp to your workpiece. Dip the entire brush into the weld cleaning fluid, ensuring you wet the entire brush completely. Wind the brush back to the required length. Place the brush tip only on the heat affected area lightly and using small circular motions, work your way over the area to be cleaned and passivated. Then rinse off with soapy water thoroughly. Apply neutralizing fluid and wash down with clean water. The polish mode can be used with either the single brush or the propel wide brush setting and TB25 weld cleaning fluid to polish and passivate stainless steel. Place the brush tip only onto the area polishing is required. Using small circular motions, work your way over the area to be polished. Then rinse off with soapy water thoroughly. 
apply neutralizing fluid and wash down with clean water to reveal the polished area. The polish etch setting can also be used for deep etching logos, part numbers and any information onto stainless steel, giving you the same result as a laser etch. The marking mode is used for indelibly printing logos, part numbers and any information onto stainless steel without compromising the corrosion resistance of the stainless steel. For more information on etching and marking, please view our marking and etching video. To replace brush, turn handle clockwise until it stops. This will release the brush. Please note, if necessary, use long nose pliers to extract the brush. Shroud and brush will be hot during use. After use, remove brush, rinse the brush and in the PTFE shroud slots with water. Then spray with the appropriate neutralizing fluid, re-rinse with water and leave to dry. If operation of the torch seems restricted in either performance or adjustment, it may be necessary to remove the PTFE shroud to enable more thorough cleaning. The collet is a consumable item expected to last as long as approximately 20 to 30 brushes. To maximize the life of the collet, regular removal and cleaning of the collet and spring assembly is recommended. To remove or replace the collet, use a 3mm hex wrench or Allen key. Remove the collet and spring assembly and place the new collet and spring into the closing sleeve. Screw closing sleeve into the spindle, tightening with the hex wrench. To ensure you always get best performance from the TIG brush, occasional maintenance is required to keep all power contacts clean and conductive. To achieve best performance, regular cleaning of the threaded parts of the standard handle assembly, earth clamp and sockets at the end of the leads and female sockets at the front of the machine is recommended.